So here are the stats after using the updated Plexity Fast Flag settings in Roblox after the patch. In today's video, we're showing you the updated Plexity Fast Flag settings to get maximum FPS and super low ping. If you want smoother gameplay and faster loading times, let's get started. Gear Up Booster is a great tool that helps reduce your ping while playing games, and it works with both wired and wireless connections. Download it safely from the official website using the link in the description and enjoy with lower ping. Step 1. Disabling Windows Services for Extra FPS Boost To start, press Windows key plus R on your keyboard, type services.msc, and hit Enter. This will open the Windows Services panel, where you can see a long list of all the services running on your PC. Scroll down until you find Windows Update. Right-click on it, select Properties, set the startup type to Disabled, then click Stop and finally Apply. By doing this, you prevent Windows from automatically downloading or installing updates while you play Roblox. Next, locate Print Spooler in the Services panel. Open its properties, set the startup type to Disabled, click Stop, and then Apply. Disabling this service removes hidden CPU drain that you didn't even know was happening, freeing up extra processing power for Roblox. Finally, scroll down to Remote Registry. Open its properties, set the startup type to Disabled, click Stop, and Apply. Turning this off not only frees up system resources, but also slightly improves your PC's security while gaming. Once your system boots back up, you should notice that your Roblox sessions feel much snappier. Your FPS increases. Step 2. Use Quick CPU to make your CPU run at full speed. You can get all the files from my official website. I give link in the description of this video. Your CPU is like your PC's brain. It controls how fast everything runs. Normally, Windows intentionally slows down your CPU to save energy, but for gaming, we want it to run at full power all the time to make Roblox smoother and faster. To do this, we'll use a tool called Quick CPU. First, download and install Quick CPU on your PC. Once it's installed, open the program to start adjusting your CPU settings for maximum performance. At the top of the program, you'll see a Power Plan drop-down menu. Select Ultimate Performance, which is designed to keep your CPU running at full speed constantly, exactly what Roblox needs to perform well. Next, scroll down and adjust the following sliders. Core Parking, 100%. This keeps all your CPU cores active, so Roblox can use all of them. Performance, 100%. Frequency Scaling, 100%. Turbo Boost, 100%. These settings ensure your CPU never slows down while gaming. After you've set them, click Apply, then OK to save all changes. Now, click on the Advanced CPU Settings tab. Here, turn on these two options. Turbo Boost. This allows your CPU to give small bursts of extra power when needed. EIST, Enhanced Intel Speed Step Technology. This helps your CPU manage its speed efficiently without slowing your game down. Once you finish, close Quick CPU. Don't worry your changes will remain active even after closing the program. With these adjustments, your CPU will always stay at full performance, which helps Roblox run much faster and smoother than before. Step 3. Use Plexity and Fast Flags to optimize Roblox performance. You can get all the files from my official website. I give link in the description of this video. Next, we'll use Plexity, one of the most popular Roblox launchers designed to boost FPS and reduce lag using custom Fast Flags. Plexity is perfect for mid-range and low-end PCs, and it can make a noticeable difference in Roblox performance. After the latest Roblox update, Plexity still improves FPS a lot. To get started, download and install Plexity from your FPS Boost Pack. Once installed, search for Plexity in your Windows search bar and open it. You'll see a setup screen where you can choose light mode or dark mode, pick whichever you prefer. After setup, locate the Roblox Priority section, this controls how much CPU power Roblox can use. If you're on a low-end PC, set the priority to high, giving Roblox more CPU power for smoother gameplay. If you run other apps in the background, like Discord or OBS, keep it at normal to maintain balance. Inside Plexity, enable these key options one by one. Clean Roblox temp files, removes leftover cache data that slows Roblox down. Clean Roblox logs, Deletes old logs that pile up every time you play. Enable multi-threaded rendering. Makes Roblox use all your CPU cores for higher frame rates. Allow cross-game teleportation limit. Speeds up loading when you switch between games. 
Next, move to the Fast Flag section, which is the most important part for Roblox performance. Turn on Refresh Rate Unlock so Roblox matches your monitor's refresh rate. For example, 144 Hz equals 144 frames per second. Then enable Use Max Frame Rate, which removes Roblox's default FPS cap. Set Texture Quality to Low on weaker PCs and Render Mode to DirectX for the best Windows performance. In Plugins and Tweaks, you'll find extra tools like Server Ping Info and Minor Optimizations. Finally, open your Fast Flags preset from your FPS Boost Pack, copy everything, and paste it into Plexity's Editor Settings, then save. Launch Roblox directly from Plexity. You'll notice smoother frames, less stuttering, and faster loading times. In this step, I'm going to show you a helpful tool that can make your Roblox connection more stable. First, download the Gear Up Booster tool from its official website. I've added the official link in the description. After downloading, install it on your PC. The first thing you'll need to do is sign in with either your Facebook or Google account. On the Home tab, you'll find all the games installed on your PC. If you go to the Games tab, you can also browse through thousands of games available for optimization. To improve your network and FPS, go back to the Home tab and select the game you want to boost. For example, I'll select Roblox, click the Boost button, and the tool will automatically start optimizing the game by finding the most suitable server for you. Next, choose your server region. Always select the nearest server for the most stable connection. In my case, the Middle East server works best. Now, go to the End tab where you'll see a list of servers available in your region. You can either choose the nearest one manually or let GearUp automatically pick the best option. For the best results, I recommend keeping it on automatic. Finally, close the window and launch your game using GearUp Booster. Step 4. Free up RAM using ISLC, Intelligent Standby List Cleaner. You can get all the files from my official website. I give link in the description of this video. RAM is like your PC's short-term memory. When it gets filled with unused data, games like Roblox start to lag. To fix this, we'll use ISLC, Intelligent Standby List Cleaner. Open ISLC, and at the top you'll see your total system memory displayed in megabytes. In the box labeled Free Memory is Lower Than, type half of your total RAM. For example, if you have 32,000 megabytes RAM, type 16,000. If you have 16,000 megabytes RAM, type 8,000. Next, check these two boxes. Start ISLC minimized, so it runs quietly in the background without bothering you. Launch ISLC on user logon, so it starts automatically when you boot your PC. On the right side, enable timer resolution and set it to 0 0.50, then set polling rate to 1000. If your PC is weaker, use 10,000 instead. Finally, click Stop Arrow. Start Arrow. Purge Standby List. This clears unused memory immediately. After this, Roblox will have more free RAM available, making it run faster and smoother than before. Step 5. Use MSI Afterburner to improve GPU performance in Roblox. You can get all the files from my official website. I give link in the description of this video. Your GPU or graphics card handles how Roblox looks and how smoothly it runs. You can make it perform better with MSI Afterburner. Install MSI Afterburner from your Tools folder and open it. You'll see a few sliders. Here's what to do. Set Power Limit, Max. Set Temperature Limit, Maximum. Do not touch core voltage, it's not necessary. Next, slowly increase the memory clock in small steps. Plus 20, test Roblox, plus 40, test Roblox, and so on. If Roblox crashes or shows problems, reduce it back to the last stable number. Once you find a smooth and stable setting, click Apply. This makes your GPU perform better, giving you higher FPS and smoother visuals in Roblox without lag or frame drops. Step 6. Disable memory integrity for a hidden FPS boost. Finally, we're going to fix a hidden Windows feature that performs background memory scans, which can slow your games down. Press Windows key plus S, type Windows Security, and open it. Then click Device Security, and under that select Core Isolation Details. Turn Memory Integrity off. Now restart your PC to apply the changes. This stops unnecessary background memory checks that eat up CPU power. Roblox will run smoother, your frames will feel steadier, and you'll likely notice a clear FPS increase, especially on mid-range or low-end PCS. If this guide helped make your Roblox gameplay smoother and faster, don't forget to like, 
share, and subscribe. Drop a comment below with your FPS results or any questions. I read and reply to everyone. Thanks so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.